Good day. This video is a re-release of an older video that was actually up on YouTube in a couple of formats one of which had lost all its captions because they were YouTube captions so I'm releasing it again. There's the part it's got a 45 degree ceiling face one end with a 5 8 by 18 UN thread and the other end has a half by 20 UN tapped thread. Here's the software that runs the lathe. This is DOS software. The parameters that occur in this video are not quite the same as the ones that are on the in actual program that I ran on the lathe. Um, this, this software is set up to suit someone else's lathe. Now the threading is done at a thousand RPM because the software wouldn't allow me any more than that. Whereas my own lathe will do more than that. And in fact, I think I cut this thread at 2000 RPM on my own lathe. But because this software is set up for someone else's, it wouldn't let me. I think there's about eight cuts there. And then we go to the parting tool, but I forgot to put the speed back up for the parting tool. That's in the simulation. Right, now we look at the part being made. That's an FC Sumitomo insert with 15 degrees of rake I tend to use it as my general purpose insert it's got a ground edge so it's very sharp similar in some ways to the polished aluminium inserts that you can get but um, I've used it on steel 4140 brass aluminium works well And of course I use aluminium inserts on brass as well. Here's the threading. That's a full form insert. I tend to like full form inserts because if you reach the right OD you know you've got a perfect thread. Does mean you need a collection of inserts but if it's for a job you're being paid for it's worth getting the uh, full form insert. This is the 2mm wide uh, Sumitomo parting tool I have, 2mm wide insert. It's a low cutting force insert with 30 degrees of rake and it works very well. And then the tool comes back to act as a stop. Just have a look at it end on. Run it at four times speed so we don't all die of boredom. Gee, it would be nice if the lathe would work that fast. Right now we change over to the other lathe which is a later model runs the Windows software that Hercus put out for these later machines the holes already drilled through so I use a boring bar just to open it up to the tap drill size and you'll see when we do the machining that it's really a very rugged looking little boring bar that was a drill but course it's really a tap there's just no tap in the there's no tap shape in the tool library in that software that's being pushed into a stop that's attached to an arbor that's up the spindle and there you can see the boring bar it's really a boring bar from a milling machine boring head uh, it's just really strong and it goes into I think the minimum bore for that is a 10 mil so it's really a great little boring bar for small holes and it has a fair amount of strength. Now the tap holder is an ER16 collet holder that I made into a floating tapping head myself. And you'll see when it taps that it actually pulls out from the block it's in. If you just watch, 
You can see it pulls out a bit. So that's the float. And there we go. That's the job done. That's the tapped end. The tapped end, yeah, of the part. And that's the ceiling face end. Relatively pleased with that part. And thank you for watching.